What's up you guys, it's Matt here. Welcome back to another video. Let's talk about XRP in this one. Uh, we typically like to um, mention XRP at least one time a day. Sometimes, depending on the, the action and the movement, we mention it more times. But um, there have been, uh, there's a lot of discussion around, you know, will this overall lawsuit hold things back for XRP? And honestly, it could be the case. We look at the previous uh, lawsuit, or I guess it's still kind of the same lawsuit. It's a continuation of the same thing. Um, but we look at when that was implemented, and we look at 2021 when we saw a, a an uptick in everything in the market. And what happened to XRP during that time? And we kind of reflect on that time, and we like to look at history, right? History dictates what the future will bring, usually. So let's talk about that. Let's have a discussion on whether we will see uh, XRP reach a certain amount or whether we will see, um, you know, it kind of it stifle its growth. So if you guys could, make sure you hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell for more of these videos. Also, make sure you check out some of the links down below. It does help out the channel. And if you guys want to uh, check out my link for Patreon or uh, Twitter, those links are in the description. We also have a link for Margex if you guys want to sign up for Margex and start trading. It's a leverage trading platform to where you can trade up to a 50x leverage on XRP, 100x leverage on Ethereum and BTC, and then also 25x leverage on um, you know meme coins and stuff. But you don't have to trade those high leverages. You could trade a 5x leverage if you want to um, and start out slow, start out with a smaller dollar amount as well. So make sure you guys check that out. That link is also down below. Now, um, again, the discussion on XRP is always hovering around where the price will be and um, ultimately what the overall gains will be. Now, if we go into the crypto market, just to give you a sense of where the crypto market is, it's currently up slightly, right? It's up by 1.47%. Um, We're seeing it at a $2.2 trillion market cap overall. And Bitcoin's dominance is slightly decreasing, but still up at like the 57% range, which is massive. But if we scroll down here and we look at XRP, XRP is uh, seeing a little bit of positivity as well. It's up 2%, up to a $30.7 billion market cap with $1 billion worth of volume, almost $1.1 billion. And it's 77% increase from day to day when we're talking about volume. Um, now, um, we've seen this price um a lot of times right it's it's been here it's been up to 70 it's been back down to 50 been down to 40 and down to 30 we've seen it kind of hover around here if we look at the last year you know we've seen this go back and forth and back and forth down to 50 up to 70 back down to 50 up to 70 all the way down to 40 then up to 65 and and so on and so forth right it's just that back and forth peaks and valleys around the same area we're tired of this um, the reason why we've seen this is because of the lawsuit that has been taking place in the um, kind of not indecisiveness, but um, maybe not understanding what truly is going to happen and where Ripple and XRP will be when it comes to being in the crypto space. Because you know, um, just as good as I, I know, right, about um, the fact that when we see something that's held back, and we still have to move on and understand that cryptocurrency is flourishing. You see a lot of other things that are created that could take over in that area and be more popular than what XRP or be more popular than what that thing is. And I don't want to see that happen. I feel like XRP has a, a large portion of the market, but if they could find a way to bring something else along that could do what XRP could do, but then also doesn't have any dilution, that's something that the government wants, right? If the government was going to adopt a cryptocurrency as a transaction-based currency it flows through all of their banks, flows through all of their institutions, all of that, but they're buying directly from that company and the company has the ability to dilute it, they're not going to want that, right? What they're going to want is something that doesn't have any type of dilution and they can move on and, um, you know, continue to use this digital asset that has this great system, fast speed, um, efficient, secure, all of those things that we want in a cryptocurrency or even just in a currency in general. Um, but XRP doesn't offer that for them. So when we look at further back, we look at history, more history, we look at all information here. 
we can see that within 2021, yes, we did see it pick up quite a bit and it did go up to a $70 billion market cap, $76 billion market cap here was a $79 billion market cap. Now, um, as that time went on, we didn't see that continue to run. Everything else hit a way higher point. Yes, this is an $80 billion market cap, that's a lot, but it honestly should be worth a lot more than that. It should be up to the 100 plus billion, maybe even 200 plus billion during that time period with how many people that are involved in Ripple that that love Ripple, that love XRP and, and love utilizing it um, in general. So when we look at history and we say, okay, um, the growth wasn't as high as we thought it would be because it didn't break above, you know, 2018, we expected this to be a massive push. Like if you look at anything else, let's say we wanted to compare it um, with Bitcoin, we can understand that Bitcoin had bigger rises, right? You look at Bitcoin's rise, Bitcoin's rise was higher than what was previously uh, stated in, in 2018, right? 2018, you saw this get up to a higher point. I don't know exactly what that was, but then it ran a crazy amount. Um, XRP, on the other hand, did not. XRP was higher in 2018 than it was here. And we're talking about market cap. We're looking at market cap here. We're not even looking at the price. We're looking at market cap. So um, this is something that's a problem. It means that something held it back. And what was that thing? It wasn't the community. It wasn't the cryptocurrency itself. It was the lawsuit. So if we're going to have that continue and go through this next altcoin season, which again, would absolutely suck because there's nothing else you can add to this. There's nothing you could do. It's literally just to an end decision. Um, you get to a point where altcoin season happens, uh, XRP, Ripple is still in this lawsuit and growth gets stifled again. So would we have to wait? Do we have to wait longer in order to see XRP being worth trillions of dollars, right? And the answer to that is it's definitely a possibility. We can see a strong possibility that we would have to wait um, longer unless we see this lawsuit um, reach its end before altcoin season happens or even in the middle of altcoin season because if we see it in the middle of altcoin season you're going to see a lot of people that have fomo getting into this project because even though they've stifled it for so long that nothing has come along to create the same thing that ripple is or at least to the same scale that ripple and xrp are so in my opinion uh yes it could uh we would have to wait a little bit longer and it is bad for xrp in general but i still believe people are waiting for that good news to happen within a good market and then things will absolutely explode but you know that's just my opinion guys let me know what you think about it hit that like button hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell for more of these videos also make sure you check out any of the links down below it does help out the channel um also don't forget about the uh link to margex which is down there, as well as Trade Assist that is down there. But I'm going to get out of here, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.